of this great multitude into thine hand, and ye shall know that I, the Lord, that I am the Lord. Amen? Amen. You shall know that I am the Lord. Amen? Amen. Come on. I am the Lord. Amen. Not just the Lord of the hills. Yeah. Not just the Lord of the mountain, but the Lord of the valley. Amen. Amen. But this enemy believed if he could get God's people in the valley, Come on. they could destroy them. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's what our enemy today thinks. All right. Our enemy today thinks, and you've got an enemy, amen, as much as you like to ignore him, avoid him, and all of that, he's still there. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that we have an adversary, yes. and his name is the pastor. No, that ain't what it says, is it? Amen. Quit fighting against your pastor. It's the devil. Amen. Right. It's the devil. We have an adversary this morning, and he believes if he can get you in the valley, he can defeat you. Right. Why? It's not because he don't know that God is God of the valley. Yeah. Brother Sleece, he's lost more. The devil's lost more battles in the valley than any place. All right. Amen. Come on. It's not because that he don't think that God is God of the valley. It's because he has an idea that maybe you don't think. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That God is God of the valley. Yeah. Can I say that again? Amen. See, these people here, the Syrians, they believed that the God of Israel was only the God of the mountain. Right. If we can get them down in the valley, Brother David, then we can defeat them because their God's not real down there. Mm -hmm. Their God doesn't have power in the valley. Their God is not God in the valley. Come on. And let me reiterate this and restate this morning that our enemy, he believes that if he can get you in the valley, if he can attack you there, right. he can defeat you. Why? It's not because he's so unwise and stupid that he thinks that God is not God in the valley. He knows God is yeah. the God of the valley. Come on. The Bible says the demons, the devils believe in tremble. That's right. He has lost enough battles to God in the valley to realize yeah. that God is the God of the valley. That's right, brother. But he ain't so sure you believe that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Amen. He's not so sure that you believe the same thing in the valley as you do when you're on the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. All right. right. There you, go. you know why? Because we act different. Come on. When we're in the valley. Amen. Amen. You see, it's in the valley when the devil heard you complain. Yeah. It's in the valley when the devil heard you contemplate giving up. Right. Amen. How many people ever really wanted to give up when you was on the mountaintop and walking in the victory of the Lord and everything was just going right and the power of God was all around you? No, it's in the valley. When you begin to say, God, where are you at now? I don't understand this. I don't like this. And we begin to kick against God. Come on. And we begin to complain and see the enemy knows that. So he thinks, if I can get Sister Cindy in the valley, if I can attack her there, maybe I can get her. Maybe I can get her. Not like the enemies the Syrians were toward the Israel. They really believed. They were so dumb, they really believed that the God of the Israelites was just the God of the mountain and not the God of the valley. Yeah. Our enemy knows better, but he ain't sure we do. Right. Because of our actions. Amen. Amen. Right. Because of the way we talk. Yeah. Because of the way we walk, because of this, on the mountaintop we were singing, I'm living up on the mountain and I'm all right. Yeah. I'm living up on the mountain and I'm all right. Yeah. You don't have to worry, you don't have to get up tight, because I'm living up on the mountain and I'm all right. And as soon as we hit the valley, we were singing, gloom, despair, and agony on me. Yeah. Deep, dark depression, excessive misery. If it weren't for bad luck, I guess I'd have no luck at all. Amen. Yeah. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. And the devil heard that. Amen. You know, maybe they ain't so sure that their God is real when uh, they're in the valley. Yeah, really? really? Amen. Yeah. Maybe they ain't so sure about God whenever things ain't going right. Yeah. Maybe it ain't so much the blesser they're following as it is the blessings. Yeah. Amen. Maybe when the blessings are cut off. See, that's what he thought about Job. Right. Amen. Yeah. He told you, he told God, he said, listen, yeah. if you cut Job off, yeah. Yeah. he will curse you. Amen. He will curse you. Yeah. That's right. Uh, That's, what he said. That's what he thinks about you. Uh -huh. If I can get him in the valley, maybe I can defeat him. Come on. Not because he don't know God's real, because he ain't sure you do. Right. 
He ain't sure you do whenever things is falling apart all around you. True. Amen. And everything you touch don't turn to gold, turns to rust. Amen. Oh. Everything, everywhere you turn, it's just like, how many people ever felt like, man, everything is going wrong? Amen. It don't matter what I do, nothing is turning out right. Yeah. Surely I ain't the only one that's been there before. Amen. Amen. And it's at that time when you're going to need the Scriptures and more like we read this morning when we opened up this sermon. Right. It's at those times when you stand in the valley, amen, which is not such a bad place. All right. If you get past all of our whimpers and our wailings and our whining, yeah. the valley is a pretty marvelous place. Amen. David said it's in the valley that he restores my soul. Oh. David said it's in the valley that he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. David said it's in the valley that he makes me to lie down in green pastures. Hey man, David said the valley, the valley, the valley is the place where I get restoration. Yes, sir. Where I get restoration. Praise God. Listen, you grow when you're in the valley. That's it. You hear the word of God whenever you're man. in the valley. Right. You get new revelation. Listen, you appreciate the Word of God more than you ever have when you're in the valley. Yes. It takes on a whole other dimension for you. Come on. Whenever you're hanging by a thread yeah. and you grab a hold of those Scriptures. Yes, sir. And listen, I've been there. I've said, Lord, I don't understand it. Amen. I've even said, why? Yeah. I don't understand this. Right. Then I sink my teeth deep into these Scriptures. Oh. Lord, I don't understand it, but I know that I know that I know that all things work together for my good. All things work together for my good. All things work together for my good. You see, Satan can handle a lot of things. He can deal with your whining. He can deal with your complaining. Matter of fact, he likes it when you whine. He likes it when you complain. He likes it when you sing the blues. But whenever it's midnight and you've been beaten half to death and chains are on you and you don't know, hallelujah, you don't know what to do except sit there and begin to lift up your voice in praise and thanksgiving to God and say, Lord, I don't understand it. My friend, Friends have forsaken me. My family has turned their back on me. It seems like everything has went to hell in a handbasket. But I still worship you. I still praise you. I still love you. I know that all things work together for my good. I may not see it now, but I know your promises are for me. And they will not pass away. Amen. Absolutely. Can anybody relate to the valley this morning? Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Can anybody see what I'm talking about? Yes. Whenever I tell you that the enemy believes you are more vulnerable to him in the valley. Come on. Not because he don't believe in God. All right. But because he ain't so sure you do. That's right. Amen. Amen. He ain't so sure you do. Hey, Brother Billy, how do I convince him I do? Come on. Same way Jesus did. All right. It is written. Amen. 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 Man shall not live by bread. When you ain't got no bread in the cupboard and the enemy says, oh, what are you going to do now? Yeah. And you dig down deep past the hunger pains. You feel like your belly button's eating a hole in your back bone. Amen. Yeah. Been so long since you ate and you don't know what you're going to eat next. You yeah. dig down deep and you get a hold of some of that word that's been written on the tables of your heart. And you say, devil, man shall not live by bread alone. Hallelujah. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Honey, you can live without the things the world has to offer this morning. But you cannot make it without his word. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. Praise my goodness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My, my, my. We're going to look at a few valleys this morning that we find in the word of God and how they parallel. Come on. How they mirror things that we go through. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about all kinds of valleys. I'm sure I'm not going to get them all this morning, but one is the valley of the shadow of death. Amen. And David, this is probably the most heard that we hear and the yes. most quoted. Yes. David said in Psalms, the 23rd chapter, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now listen, remember this. <laughs> He's writing this in the valley. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, 
I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. On the mountaintop, no, he's talking about the valley. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Isn't that powerful? Hallelujah. Listen, David knew something about battles in the valley. More than likely it was in the valley whenever he killed the lion and the bear that came up and tried to take his flock because that's where the shepherds like to keep their sheep. Amen? It's in the pasture, the plain of the valley. Amen? So more than likely he had experienced turmoil and trials in the valley. We know for a fact today, if you read the account of David and Goliath, that he defeated the giant Goliath and it was in the valley. Amen? In that spot he didn't go before the giant. Listen, you're going to face some giants in your valley. Amen? In this valley of the shadow of death, he had been there. He knew what he was talking about. When he stood before the enemy, he didn't say, listen, in the name of King Saul, I come against you. He didn't say, listen, in the name of my denomination or my religion. He said, you come to me with a spear and a sword, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He came against him in the name of the Lord of hosts. He had weapons to use. And in his survival kit, come on, was not just some dried beans and some jerky. All right. Amen. That's right. But there was a Bible. Amen. And it was written on the table of his heart. Yes. He said, Lord, your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Amen. Come on. David's the one that said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. David is the one that said, I will bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Hallelujah. Bless His holy name. Bless His holy name. Praise God. We're talking about going through the valley this Amen. morning. And he talks about being in the shadow of death. Yeah. In order to be in something shadow, you have to be close to the thing that's cast in the shadow. Amen. You have to be, even if it casts a long shadow, you still can't be too far in the distance from the thing that's casting the shadow on you. Amen. David had walked in the valley of the shadow of death, and he had learned what we learn in 1 Corinthians 15 and 55. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? David knew that his God was not just God on the mountain. Come on. But he was God in the valley. Exactly. The sooner we learn it, I know, I know that there are people out there. You're listening to CD, the cassette. You're watching over the internet. Yeah. You're listening on radio. Yeah. I know that you're sitting there thinking, preacher, we've heard this before. Yeah. We know this, and my response to that would be, why don't we act like it then? Uh -huh. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If we know it and we don't need to hear it and we've got it down pat and we understand it, why in the world do we spend more time complaining than we do blessing the Lord with our soul and all that is within us? Amen. Uh -huh. I think we still need a few courses in this. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Somebody wouldn't have had to follow us too long this week to find us complaining. Exactly. Amen. That's true. In this valley of the shadow of death, David said, I've learned. That, you see, the Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart. Yes. I believe, Absolutely. you may believe something different, but I believe that it was in the valley that he actually got a glimpse of God's heart. Absolutely. I believe yeah. it was in the valley yeah. that he got a glimpse of that which what he wanted. Amen. Right. A glimpse and a taste, Brother Sleece, that made him so hungry and so thirsty for God that he's the only man in Scripture that the Bible says had a 